Coffee Time Greens. It's coffee time. It's supper time. Let's top. Okay, this is just ground chuck over here. And this is just Southern Secret. Gonna cover, cover, cover. Ooh. We love that stuff. We're gonna salt, salt, salt. Hold your nose. Southern, Here comes the pepper. Southern secret coming up in there. It's delicious, ain't it? When it got warm. This is the pepper. Now I'm gonna be cutting up some cabbage. This is beef cabbage version. This may not be everything we put in our regular, but this is the nice version. We have different versions sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's what we got. Do you remember anything else we put in the other one, Mama? I think it's our Shoney version. You put anything different? Maybe, yeah. I think I'm going to get that chocolate, 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 chocolate. You don't have to be like hot dog chip, though. Mm -hmm. But if you want to chop, you do it. Do it to it, Mama Lou. Well, we're well, well, you know how it is. We're getting ready to eat. Oh, that makes you well, I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch today. Did you eat lunch, Mom? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Why didn't you eat? Eat some uh, chicks and I've learned out that someone has started food. <laughs> yeah, don't make no more chicks mix. Mama's made two or three batches of that stuff since Christmas. And it is a little salty. And I'll eat it like crazy. That's right. I thought, well, she's awful, she's attached to that. I felt like I was attached to it. You want to let this brown up, you want to let it absorb all those goodness flavors in there. Just like that. Now look at that. That's some goodness right there. Now, I'm going to put a little coffee in there because that's what we do. People always ask, how much coffee do you put? I put about the same as a cup. Oh, it's just simmered down to a goodness there. So after I've got the coffee in there, the, the meat is browned. Looking good. Hold on just a second. Let's see if I have what I'm looking for. Do you know where the bullion is now? Because I used to have it up here. That's chicken bullion. It is. Yeah. I'm out of beef, but we got better than bullion. Here's beef, baby. No. Uh, what? Here, is this beef or chicken? chicken? That's chicken. Chicken, chicken, everything's chicken. We may not have any. It don't have to have it. It just has one more element of beefy goodness and flavor. I think this is beef. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is some Noors. I'm not real picky. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. You can or cannot, but if you do use a little bouillon, this it just happens to be beef Noors. If you do use it, reduce your salt or know that you're going to use it. You see me put a sprinkle, sprinkle of salt in there, but uh, I did over salt. So that's just a little bit of beef. It's kind of it's kind of on the same line as uh, better than blue though. But just put you a little bit of beef in there in that coffee. Look how it just absorbs. It just takes in the liquid, and this just gives you one more element of flavor. And you can totally leave it out. Totally leave it out. This man. Don't take me all on all night long to stir up a good soup. This is beef cabbage soup. Uh, we have our Shami's version. And I don't know how far removed this is, but this is one we throw together sometimes. So in goes the cabbage. And I'm going to cut up a little bit more cabbage. Just a second here. I'll just throw that around. There you go. I can, I can swish it around. Swish it. Swish it, swish it. 
want to do most of this head of this cabbage because cabbage just seems to evaporate in a dish and uh, especially a soup so you want to just put plenty and cabbage is good and healthy it don't have any carbs I don't think and if somebody out there who knows cabbage has carbs don't tell me shouldn't have carbs, I'll put it that way. Now look how delicious this is looking. This might be enough cabbage. Yeah. We're going to see how it cooks. Let's dump her in, dump her in, all in the pool. Watch Mama. Now she'll do that. That is good. Of course, stick it out. If I get a knife over here, she'll stick her hand up there. I don't know. I think it's in her DNA. Y'all seen her do that before. I said, Mama, don't put your hand up there and stick that knife up there. Well, I ain't hurt nothing. I made a blood bitch on my finger. But I didn't do it. No, I did it. All right, Mama, get ready to bring the knife up there. Get your hand over there, honey. No, I'm Get your hand in there. Don't you miss an opportunity to stick that hand up there while I'm trying to knife something in the pot. What was it you did the other day and I hit you with the knife blade? And I said, yep. Oh, wow. You had that knife, that hand up there. Uh-huh. Now that is melting down good. That's what you're looking for. Can y'all see? Let me move my coffee. Y'all get over here and look right down in that pot. That's the reason we popped this thing. is so we could be right here close to you. And Mama wouldn't be over there being quiet, having the hush mouth I've held. Hush mouth. <laughs> I do get hushed mouth. You do, Mama, and you act like I you don't want to talk to. I don't mean to. to. I just get to concentrating on what I'm doing. Now, that, you want to let that cook a minute. All your seasoning is getting absorbed up in there. All your good seasonings. We may have to have another tomato, a little bit of tomato juice. We got a can? Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. It may take a, a little bit more. Now, at this point, you can turn this into anything you want. I'm going to make a soup out of it. Uh, but you could use this in a casserole. You could add tomatoes to it and put a little heavy cream in it and make it that way. You can do you. But tonight, I've been wanting this. This is something that we used to have a lot in the, in the winter. But, here lately, this winter, we have it. So, now I'm going to put all of the, this is just diced tomatoes, petite diced tomatoes. Now, at this point right now, you could add some heavy cream to this. And this one thing of tomato sauce will probably be about enough. And you could put you some kind of pasta in it. You could... You could leave it without yes, pasta. Yes, ma'am. I'll open it. Whatever you give me, I ain't picky. Well, still haven't opened the whole round. So let's let this tomatoes and all that get to know one another in there. All right. So what are y'all eating tonight? Is it something good? Something you've been wanting? Mm. It's not cold here. It's 48 here at seven, 8 o'clock. But this is something that we can eat tomorrow. We can eat a little bit tonight. I don't think it's anything that will really hurt us tonight. Not going to put any onions in it. Uh, normally I would, but tonight it's late. Mama might want to put onion salt in it. Sometimes she does that instead, or onion powder. Well, uh, this southern secret has onions and garlic yeah, and everything. Yeah, that's, that's going to be enough onion tonight. So let's stick this little bit of tomato juice in there now. Tomato sauce. Sauce. And then we'll put a little tomato juice. I'll uh, rinse your can out. I'll, I'll do it right here. Put them beans over in that tomato can. And then we'll... They ain't on. Huh? They're on the arm or something. Oh, I'm just talking to them for a second. So then I'm going to put these red kidney beans. These are dark red kidney beans going in. Mm-hmm. Say that, clean that out. If you got two or three cans of stuff, you can always clean your tomato can out with another ingredient. 
Two things, it won't add the water to this and it cleans it just as well. So. Ooh, that would have popped to it. I would have hardly expecting that loud. That's a big old kink. All right, now I'm gonna pour, this is tomato uh, juice. And I'm gonna pour a fourth of this can in there for now. Or half of it. Nah, it's still quite, quite full, mama. And that's gonna be our supper. Mm. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Though it I'm does. Put the lid on it, let it. Yeah, let, it, we'll put the lid on it, let it you simmer, it simmer. Like but look how, Thick and hearty. I like this. We made soup in it once before. And I thought we can't make soup in that. But then I did and it it was good and it worked good. So we'll put this lid on it and watch it steam up because it's getting hot. It's steam hot. I didn't expect it to steam hot at that. And we'll get our bowls together. And mama, I had some cabbage left. Mm -hmm. I didn't use all your cabbage, mama. You you're doing better cutting back. I cut way back because normally I have to put a whole head of cabbage in there. Now in the summertime when I make it, I probably would put a whole head of fresh cabbage and I'd eat on it for two or three days. This is one of those meals that I can eat on several days and not get tired of it. Uh, some meals one day and I'm done. Pretty much I want to turn it into something else. And some meals... Um, I can eat it the next day, and I'm okay. But beyond that, I don't want it. I'm picky. Are y'all picky? You through with the cutting board, and I'll move all that out of your I'm way. I'm through with all this. We'll use a ladle from here on out. We just needed that to chop, chop, chop. There you go. I try, Mama. I'm held under... Um, you're scrutiny, and I'm thinking, I have some leftover coffee today, so I'm just going to pour it in my cup because it's still piping hot. Here. I had it in my travel. Like and that's boiling. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's boiling. Oh, yeah, I can see it boiling all the way around now. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is just let it simmer. Come to a good boil. Like, they don't have to rip roar. It just needs to come to a good boil. Get all them flavors in there. Mm, good times. What are y'all saying? Texas. Hey, Sherry from Texas. It depends what... I can't read. What it is. How are you? Hey, Angela. I'm doing well. I hope you are too. Hi, Jill. How are you? I just heated up my coffee from this morning too. Um, this is what I took with me today. And I had some when I come home, but I just feel that it's about right there. And one thing about these mugs, I can kind of see, you know, I think, well, I'll do a half a whole, whatever. And um, I thought, well, ain't no sense to waste this coffee sitting over here. Even though it's like, even though I don't need to be drinking coffee at 8 o'clock at night. It's not a cap either. Somebody asked me that I said no. No, I do have a little bit of decaf here in case somebody comes by and says, hey, I like test decaf. But as a rule, what you find here is fully loaded. Fully loaded. And it's y'all's. Now look at here, folks. Let's do a flyover. We want to see this. See how that's what that is? That's what we want. And that tells you where the heat is. So when I fry something, else, remind me the heat's around the edges. Uh-huh. Mama, what do you think about that quick and easy oh, supper? Really good. Quick and easy. Easy peasy. That's what we like. Thursday it? night easy. Feels like a hard day of Friday night. <laughs> Seems like yeah, This has been a long week, but it's February. It's February. Did you hear me? Can't believe it. It's the second month of this new year, and we just started this new year. Feels like a day or two ago. We just dropped the ball, seemed like, day before this. <laughs> True story, Mom. Mm. It tastes good. Oh, Mama, what are you doing? Trying to get this cord out of So I'm getting my leg in here. <laughs> it was stretched out across the 
Now, in my taste bud world, I put a splash more salt, but I'll let you taste it. Well, we know we salty it in our day. Yeah, and if you're going to eat these crackers, yeah, that'll I'm be... not going to salty. Right. But look at it. It's good. And it's done. When you layer it in there like that, it don't take no time, folks. And this is... I tell people all the time, most of the stuff me and Mama makes, our homemade version is almost as quick as the canned version. Now, we probably could have thrown a can in the microwave or we could have put it in a kill, but really and truly, this is fast. That's fast yeah, effort. Really so, uh, you didn't unplug it? Uh-uh, I will. Okay, unplug it, because it's done all it needs to do, Mama. Look here. I'm going to give it a good stir. Look over here. Give it a good stir. Going to get Mama. She like a little bit of juice. But I like more the, juice than you. On this, she'll also like a little bit of goodie because it's one of her favorites, too. Hey, Mama. Yeah. We both usually agree on this one. We don't usually have a second opinion when we one of us suggests this soup. Mama suggested this soup. But when one of us suggests this soup, you the other one says, yeah, that sounds good. It was a debate. We were on... Um, Earlier, we were on baked potato and chopped beef steak. If you got through work earlier. We were on that notion. And then, as the day went on, I was on, boy, some cabbage soup would be good. And then Mama said, do you want the chopped beef steak? You just want to do a little cabbage soup. And I said, great minds think along. So do ours. <laughs> and so does I. I was liking that great mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mama, let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of being able to gather here tonight and for the privilege of this meal. Dear, we just thank you so much for providing it. We pray that you'll bless it. And dear Lord, we just want you to always lead God and direct us in the ways we should go. Dear Lord, those folks that are gathered here tonight, so many of them have prayer requests, so many of them have lost, dear Lord, and we have friends that have passed, and we just want you to bless those families, dear Lord. Watch over, lead God and direct. And, Lord, just be with us and watch over us in the coming days. Put a hedge protection on each and every one. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right, Mom, I'm anxious to see what you think about it. Now, I like big pieces of cabbage in it. Like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, now, we have about... We'll do a little deal with tomato soup sometime. We make kind of homemade with tomato juice and basil, and I'll put some stuff in it. Mm -hmm. We have that we make. We have Mama's homemade potato soup, my homemade potato soup, which is loaded potato soup. We have broccoli and cheese that Mama makes. We have and do make homemade chicken noodle every once in a blue moon. Yeah. This soup, and of course, good old country vegetable or vegetable beef or some version of it. Um, but that's about the soups that we fix. Now, corn chicken. Tomato soup from a can mm -hmm. and chicken noodle soup when I feel bad or so. Yeah. But no other soups do I like from a can. Most of ours is what we eat on maybe. Now, we don't have no wide variety of... No. We make, um, I don't know what you call it, 16 bean soup. Yeah, that's right. And we make it out of a bag of dried beans. That's a good homemade. It's a soup mix. Mm-hmm. You can pull and I would like to have some of that poor little mama. We ain't had that in a spell. Have you? Mm -hmm. Now, it, you have to cook it a little while. It ain't no quick Thursday night um, soup. You need to cook it about two hours. Can you go get that plate while you're opening it and showing what the plate is going to taste like it On the 16 beans? Mm -hmm. 15, 15, whatever. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll over open these. Let me get this citrus filler. Sometimes these little bags of crackers can be the hardest thing in the world to open. And then if you don't watch yourself, you'll open it all right and it'll be everywhere. They so cheated you out of a vein? I thought that other we used to make was 16. This is 15 bean soup. And it has a little packet in it. We don't always use that. It's a flavor pack. Hand but look at hand flavoring. And I don't, we don't always like that. Look, see all the little beans and the split peas and whatever is in there. And you, they're dry. 
and you have to boil them and let them get good and soft. And some of them soften quicker than others. But that's a good soup. Getting them on. Yeah. Well, what about this soup? Is it worth having? Mm. Yes, it's good and quick. It Fast and easy and yeah. delicious. And you said it's not cold temperature, but I'm cold as a wedge. You are cold. <laughs> I stay that way anymore. So just to review, all we put in was salt and pepper and y'all Southern Secret. And that was enough for us. Now, we started out with the hamburger, just the, well, the chuck, because it don't have as much grease and we didn't drain that because it didn't have any. And then I put uh, the seasonings on it. The y'all uh, Southern Secret just covered the top, salt and pepper, same way. I put a little bit of beef base in it, and that was just to brighten up the beef flavor. Um, so you want to watch your salt when you're doing that. And then I put about 16 ounces of coffee in it, about what this cup would hold. And I uh, let that get cooked down, and then we throw our cabbage on top, put our tomatoes in there. And you want to let it eat, each thing settle in there a little bit. So when I put my cabbage, I let that cook down. Then I put my tomatoes, let it cook down a second. About just three or four minutes. Then we put our uh, tomato uh, juice on top of that and let it let it come to a boil. And you've got delicious soup. Cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. Mama, what are you going to have tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. Do right. y'all ever sit around and eat and talk about what you're going to eat? I like to be hungry when I talk about it so that way. Like that gets me off track sometimes. I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. That anything, sounds good. That sounds good. you mention sounds good when you're hungry. <laughs> we get a lot of our ideas from you all. One of y'all will say something on here and I'll read it and I'm like, mmm, that would be good. The next day, I think, boy, that would be good. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Pamela Gibson. Yum. Coffee, question mark. Um, Connie, the coffee don't make it taste like coffee. It don't give it that flavor or anything. What it does is it helps to tenderize the meat, even on ground chuck. But it does, I guess, give it some flavor, but it's not a coffee. You're not going to sit here and go, oh, this has got coffee in it. It just gives it a good flavor, don't mm -hmm. it, Mama? And we use it on all of our beef products. We use it even on pork. Um, it's just the acid in the coffee just helps to tenderize a little bit, and it just gives it a little flavor profile that we like. And other people have tried it, and they like it, too. You would never know it was in here. No, but it's one of those things, if you leave it out and you've been used to it, you say, eh, there's something different. <laughs> Ain't it, Mama? It's that hard coffee, coffee. I guess this stuff does have caffeine in it. I hadn't thought about it that way, Mama. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to use it. You can use, well, I guess you could use, the tomatoes would probably have to tend to rise up. Mm -hmm. The acid in there. But it sure is good. It's, it's good for lunch. This is a late lunch. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. A very late lunch. I had breakfast this morning. And then I had um, some peanut butter crackers, a little pack of them. I guess that was my lunch. Light lunch. I'll put it that way instead of no lunch. Mmm. This is one of those things that will taste even better tomorrow. Everything will get through it. Um, everything will blend through it. And it will be very tasty um, tomorrow. And it's good. We eat this in the summer, too. Don't, you know. It's not just for winter. 
In fact, sometimes I enjoy it in the summer even better because it's got a big old homegrown head of cabbage in it. Fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny if you think about it. People will look at you a little sideways when you tell them you had a big old pot of vegetable soup in the summer because we associate that with a winter meal. But when do you have fresh vegetables? In the summer. Mm -hmm. So we like vegetable soup in the summer with grilled cheese, vegetable soup in the summer with mama's homemade pimento cheese. That's a good supper in the summer because we've got all the fresh vegetables. And we'll put fresh green beans, we'll put just whatever's in there, squash. We had vegetable soup in the summer all the time growing up. And mommy would, uh, while she had all the vegetables a lot of times, uh, canned soup. Mm. And quart jars and stuff. We need to do that sometime, Mama. I ain't as energetic as my mommy <laughs> <laughs> Having a bunch of canned homemade soup would be ideal. You can add other things in this. There's one version that we fix. Um, we put a little cabbage in it, but it's not. we don't call it beef cabbage. We put stew beef in it, and we'll put everything we put tonight, but we'll add carrots and corn. And it's a different than a vegetable soup because we don't put elbow macaroni in it or anything, but it's just mm -hmm. a good hearty soup too, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. I'd say you would just call it a, a version of the vegetable soup. And then a lot of times, the next day, on that version, with the corn and all that in it, I'll put a little taco seasoning in it and use it like a hot salsa with corn chips or Tostito chips. Mama, this has hit the spot. Yeah. You want some more? No, I ain't got this heat. You want to heat it up? Mm-mm. You sure? Yeah, I'll get it somewhere. Okay. Let's see what y'all are talking about. How from Texarkana, Texas? Wow. Marty, Texarkana, Texas. Hi, sweet friend. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Hi, John and Mama, I'm here. Uh, here's the recipe for the soup. Nola's already got the recipe on wow. there. Thank you, Miss Nola. Sweetest Hello from Fairview, Illinois. Hmm. Deanna, how's the weather up there? So sorry. Pat, have you had a loss? Thank you for letting me know. I need a prayers for Miss Pat. I didn't get to see her post, but one need that was telling us she'd pray for, and we will add you to our prayers too, Miss Pat. Coffee added to the meat works great. It really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Martha. Thank you for the tip. I hope you all have a good night. You too, Miss Martha. We ain't got no choice but to have a good night, Martha. It's 8.14. <laughs> I, I'm going to go out there and check on that little fur baby in a minute. And she always puts a smile on my face. So I always feel good when I visit with her. And uh, I'm going to go in there and get in that bed. And I'm going to find something on Netflix. I don't have cable. Uh, but I'm going to find something on Netflix that's lighthearted and fun and just a good, easy watch. And I'm going to fall asleep watching it. That's my plan. <laughs> it's fine to fall asleep at Netflix movies because you can watch it the next day and pick up where you remember you left off. <laughs> TV that way, fall off the sleep. Well, Mama, you could fall asleep during every murder she wrote and you'd still know who did it. Well, I eventually would come across And Columbo, you would know because she's seen them all. <laughs> she's seen them all. She could play Angela Lansbury and just quote them. Because I remember what she said. <laughs> I can do that sometimes. Uh huh. Or Columbo. We love Columbo. Now I do like Columbo. So all of Mama's shows, I don't, I'm okay. I'm okay with some of them. Like, Columbo, love Columbo. 
He reminds me of me. He's just <laughs> disheveled and just kind of floating around. Mama, what are you doing without your drink? I forgot about that. Was you just drinking tomato juice? I'm just eating soup. <laughs> I looked at her and thought, that's a nice cold Sprite. You've not even opened it. You're welcome. Uh, but uh, I love Colombo. And I love um, Monk. <coughs> Monk's not as old as Colombo. But Monk's a good watch. If you want a good, fun... Because Monk is not just all about the murder and the mayhem. Monk is also about the funny and him and the whole thing. He just cracks me up. Uh, Murder, She Wrote, I used to watch, like, it okay. So I memorized all of them, because Mama had watched them all. Um, but now I want the, Andy Griffith, what's his name? Matlock. Matlock is good, it's okay, but I keep wanting Andy to act, I want Matlock to act like Andy. And he don't. Hmm. But I don't want, I, when I watch TV... And I don't watch it very often, sometimes on the weekends. But when I watch it, I want whatever I'm watching to be either inspiring and feel good, senseless and funny. I don't want profanity. I don't want anything in it that's going to raise my eyebrow. I just want it to be fun and, and I want it to take me away for a minute. Mom and I watched um, Fried Green Tomatoes again. <laughs> Last weekend, and it was pretty good. You know, it was just something to just you kind of knew what is going to happen, but yet you couldn't remember every detail, and it was kind of good. Uh, we don't own the right scene of this. I'm afraid to hardly mention anything because sometimes I tell you you've violated something, I don't want to violate nothing, I don't get in no trouble. Uh, nothing like the Andy Griffith show. and Phyllis, I could just watch it all day. <laughs> if if I had a station that only an only Andy station. And it would just play from the first episode to the last and start all over 24 hours a day. I could just leave that playing in the background. I know that's nonsense, but I could. It was just, you know, it just, you laugh, you know the parts. Um, and it's funny. But it's, it's not bad either. No, it's good hearted. You sit it down, you don't have to worry about somebody, you know, you saying, I watched Andy Griffith last night. And you go, oh, yeah. <laughs> They know what you've watched, because they've watched it. The world could use some more Andy, couldn't it? Yeah. I love Beaver, because it's wholesome. Beaver's good. I love all those little sitcoms from the 60s, 70s, whatever. I love Hazel. Yeah, I love Hazel. Y'all like Hazel. It just runs all the time. Runs all the time. Wish we could find us a Hazel. <laughs> Try them if I want one. Well, she would probably, know. huh? I want one to clean the house. She flies. She might be. A, she's a good housekeeper, but whoo! Sometimes she get bossy, and she be making me take vitamins and not let me eat. <laughs> I'd have her fart three times a week. <laughs> Mister D, you've eaten too much of that. <laughs> What's your cholesterol, Mister D? She would be. Yeah. I'll be like, now Hazel, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Quit. Leave me alone. Reba McIntyre is coming out with a new... Oh, is she? I liked her other show pretty good. What was it called? Reba? You know, she had the two daughters and a little boy named Jake. I don't know the daughter's name for all. And she... Um, Van and what was the, his wife's name? Cheyenne. That's one of her best friends, ain't it? And uh, this little orange headed girl, red -headed girl, I think, Cheyenne. Anyhow, it was a good, funny. It just, you just, just get to laughing and it just go. I love Mama's sweet voice. <laughs> She's so sweet. Sheila, she is until that voice turns into uh, her strict voice, and then it, it ain't sweet. It's a sweet strict voice. No. <laughs> yeah, it is. No. Yeah, it 
It's a blood-curdling sweet voice. No. No, she's sweet. She loves this dragon, but she does get. She does have a voice, and it comes with some motions too, some actions. That's when you was little. You know what that meant. You'd do it right now, Mama, in a heartbeat. If you acted up in church, I would. All in the family is my favorite, Brenda. Uh -huh. All in the family. Is that Archie? Archie, yeah. It was called Reba. Yep, Paula, you're right. Driving Miss Daisy. I want to watch that again. I love There's it. another one I like, and I, I always garden. Um, Driving Miss Daisy always reminded me of this other one, and I believe it was called Guarding Tess. Well, Driving Miss Daisy at. Uh... Jessica Tandy. Jessie Tandy played in the Green Fried Tomatoes. In green Fried Tomatoes. Fried Green Tomatoes. Uh, Guarding Tess was an ex-president's wife, and they had the you know, Secret Service. And it was funny, too. I think she always was trying to get away from them and stuff, but I remember it. Um, still Magnolia's. I guess that's... It's sad, though. It's sad, but it's a southern classic. You know, when and you watch... a lot of funny stuff in it, but before she dies... When you watch Still Magnolias, you can pick somebody in that movie out of your childhood, and you say, that is so-and-so, and then that's so-and-so, and that one's so-and-so. Uh, because I was raised up very much like Still Magnolias is portrayed. Just... Mama would go to the beauty shop. I mean, all those things. It's just, just Southern. Uh, but Driving Miss Stacy is one of my favorites. One of my favorite lines from Driving Miss Stacy is when she, I think I ain't quoting it per exactly, but when she looks at uh, Morgan Freeman and says, Hope you're my best friend. And I thought, oh, yeah. it's so sweet. It really is. And it was good that they had each other. I still watch Ruby. She's a hoot. Is she still on? Gunsmoke. Phyllis, now I like me some Gunsmoke. Your daddy called it Miss Kitty. Show. Miss Kitty. <laughs> Re Reba was the name. Barbara Jean Barbara was the Jean. other character. Now, I love Barbara Jean. Uh -huh. Barbara Jean. I know Barbara Jean in real life, not the real one, <laughs> but I know a Barbara Jean. <laughs> Off the hook, not that you was trying to hurt her feelings, but you couldn't have if you'd even tried. Uh, I know a person that just reminds me of her so much. Sweet, nice, kind woman, uh, but yet just that that at, at attitude. I mean, she loved Reba, and it didn't matter if Reba hated her guts or not. <laughs> she was just going to love her and spot her. And, and I know that person. It's just it's hilarious. Um, Dagwood was another good show. Oh, yeah. Blonde, yeah. Love Mama. Ah, oh, thank you, Regina. <laughs> Mama is so amazing. Ah, oh, y'all are so sweet. Thank you. There is nothing wrong with old shows. I absolutely love watching them. Me too. Me too. Kira, yes, that was the other one. Thank you. I knew somebody would come through. What's that? The daughter. Kira was the daughter. The I think she was. Cheyenne was the blonde, and Kira was the redhead. Is that right? Kira. Which one got married? Cheyenne. I watched all the older shows, family oriented. Um, my three Real good high five. Yes. Father knows best. Father knows best. You wouldn't find a, a story, the storylines and the stuff that they had then that you have now. No. Um, the people just wouldn't. I'd like to see some remakes of those shows in modern day people with the same core values. Now that would be worth watching. That would be nice. But not like they are now. No. No. We're into. Uh, it, it just seems like people's into shock value. Can I do worse than somebody else did, or can I make it more shocking? Vulgar on some of them. <laughs> yeah. I saw Reba a few years ago in concert with George Strait and Leanne. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh yeah. I've seen Reba in concert. Amazing. 
I like Mama's family. I do too. Oh, yeah, they're funny. We said, Mama was watching that the other day. Yeah, I watched it. Vent. <laughs> Vicky Lawrence is a hoot. Sanford and Son. Love that show. I liked it too, Tabby. Mm -hmm. All in the family, yes. Y'all yeah. are liking the same things. Regarding Tess. Is that the name of it? Regarding Tess. Chase, thank you for the correction. I thought it was guarding. I thought it was about her bodyguards. I was like, Gomer Powell, USMC, and Mama's family. Me too, Teresa. Gomer Powell's another one of them. Kind of like the um, the girl on Reba. What did you say her name was? Barbara, Barbara Jean. Jean. He liked he liked Sergeant Carter. It didn't matter. Sergeant <laughs> Carter hated him, but Sergeant Carter got to liking him. But Gomer didn't care. He respected him. He was his hero. He loved that man. And uh, he done everything he could to please him, and he done everything in the world that really aggravated him. <laughs> but it was just good bonanza. I like bonanza too. Mm -hmm. Frasier was great. Yeah, Frasier yeah. was a good one. The Don't Notebook is a good movie. Yeah, yeah, we watched that before. Good times. I loved Good Times. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I loved Good Times so much. I had a canary, and I named him JJ. <laughs> And he was, you know, he was a beautiful bird. And uh, Dad said, how come you named him JJ? I said, after uh, good times. And he said, uh, do you think that bird's dino mine? I said, he sure is. In the heat of the night. Now, you're getting into Mama's territory with those. Yeah. I remember those. I hate to see you come home. I love the Jeffersons, too. But the only thing I hated about the Jeffersons, the one thing had nothing to do with the show, was just me and... It was really her. <laughs> the Jeffersons used to come on Sunday night. And, you know, at the end, they show that the lake and all that. When that went on, when the show went off and that came on, it was bedtime. But it was also, as soon as I wake up, it's school time. It had nothing to do with the show because I love the show. I still watch it if I can. I mean, I did when we had cable. Mama's got cable in the living room, but you gotta buy a box for every room. And I just ain't buying boxes because I don't wire. I don't watch it. I don't watch it. So good um Jefferson's would come on and then those credits would roll. And that was just saying to me, all I could see was it's time to go to bed and get up in the morning, and go to school. <laughs> That's all it said to me. School time, go to bed. And you know, as a kid. Kids measure things and sleeps, you know, and when they wake up the next morning, they know. And, you know, you don't know much when you're asleep. When you're a kid, you sleep all night long. So when you hit that pillow, it's really, in your mind, it's time to go to school, really. You don't even count the night. And then, what that kid said at church about sleeps. Night sleeps. He asked me one time, this little kid at church, and I didn't know kids, you know, I had forgotten how it was to be a kid. And he said, how many sleeps till Christmas? And I said, what? <laughs> yeah, he said, how many sleeps? And then it dawned him. And I said, oh, I think it. I said, well, it's only about 10 more sleeps. <laughs> All right, he said. He's the same kid that said, you're old. And I said, I'm not that old. And at the time, I really wasn't that old. That but I was old. Jim. And I said, you think I'm old? And I was probably... 25. And uh, he said, yeah. I said, how old do you think I am? He said, golly, I don't know. You're probably like 12. <laughs> I said, you are close. Thank you. <laughs> You're pro I thought he was going to say 100 <laughs> or 75. And he said, hey, don't talk You're 75. <laughs> You're probably like well, <laughs> he was probably like four. So 12 was a big number to him. I thought it was so cute. I never will forget it, hopefully. Uh, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken is also a good movie. Elizabeth, is that on now on Netflix or something? I don't know that one. I, don't know. I had never heard of that one. Watch My Sister's Keeper. Good movie. Is it on Netflix, Dad? Dad? My Sister's Keeper. I don't think I've seen I'll have to look for these. Wild Hearts and 
My sister's keeper. Is anybody watching anything good on Netflix? Like a series I could get into. Something wholesome. Y'all know kind of what I like. Um, gun smoke, yeah. Mash. Mama didn't like mash, but I loved it. We, my brother was in Vietnam, and we never watched no shows that about had, war. had war in it anyway or anyhow. But Places in the heart with Sally Field. I've seen that one. Places in the heart. I could watch that again if it's still on. Ooh, ooh. Was that your phone or these lights? I seen a little light. Those those lights. Okay, Patty, let's refresh me on. I think I saw, Mama, I think we watched uh, Where the Crawdads Sing, did we not? Okay. Is that the one where. A girl was living by herself or something, and she was safe where the crowd had sing. See, sometimes I watch these and I get them all blurred up. I mean, I get two or three of them crossed up. I met Miss Kitty in New Orleans. Oh, wow, Preston. That My dad would have loved that. Golden Girls. Yeah, Brian, we've, oh, yeah, we've got I them. I still watch those. Barbara Jean is one of a kind character. Yeah, apparently she is. Carol Burnett show. I love Carol Burnett. I still watch Carol Burnett. <laughs> Is she still on? Yeah. Really? She comes on at uh, 10.30. Tim Conway in oh, Lord, Harvey, Harvey Gorman. I don't know. Anyhow, they crack me up. And they could crack me up now. And Tim, Tim Conway would tell those stories. And he was just as dry and straight faced. They, could, they would lie from the show. They'd lose it. Yeah, but Tim wouldn't. Most of the time, Tim could hold it. Together. Yeah, he was the one making them lose it. I have those. I've enjoyed this. Oh, I loved it. Life talking about all these old shows. Yeah, Andy does come on twenty four. Oh, where's that at? Candy, I'm gonna get cable. Where's this at? What's what network? I didn't know there was an Andy twenty four hours. Love anything with James Garman. Oh. We used to watch something with game, James Garman on it. Uh, it was a detective. Petrocelli? Uh, at Petrocelli, what him. It was another show. What, uh, we used to watch Petrocelli, something. Yeah. Don't ask me how I remember that. It's a different show. That James Garman. But we used to watch with James Gar Garman on it a lot. All right, Mom, you got anything you want to add tonight? No, we've said enough, I think. We've been on here forever. Mama has a spring outfit on. Very nice, Brian says. This is a... Well, Mama, you are in a spring outfit, but this is one of your house... Old, old sweatshirts. It's one of her house outfits. It's an calls. old sweatshirt. It's Mama's a not a moo-moo wearer or a house dress wearer. She's a, a blue jean and some kind of warm sweatshirt kind of wearer. <laughs> And she has all kinds of sweatshirts and stuff that she drags out from time to time. Uh, this one's really old. But it's pretty and clean and white and bright. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. You could wear it to town, I bet. If I wanted to, I could steal it. It's not dirty or poor or holes in it. You got a paint on it or nothing? No. A lot of mine's got paint on them. <laughs> Oh. I had one blue sweatshirt I wore on. Sling Blade was a good movie. I don't remember that movie. Um, I love the Wild... Oh, Amanda, that music. As soon as it comes on, I'm ready. I'm all tuned in to the Waltons. Waltons is like the way I grew up. <laughs> I love the Waltons. Mm -hmm. The Waltons really is a close to going to my mama and papa's house. And sometimes I look at that old stove on there, that cook stove, and I think, they've got my A&L stove on there. Because I ain't ever kept a stove in my whole life in July. We'd go over to her house in July and there'd be a little fire she had cooked up. in that stove. She had an electric stove on one side of the kitchen and a wood stove on the other side. And that electric one, don't think it got used very much, but that wood one did. And there's always a five gallon bucket of candling, little bitty pieces of wood. And she always kept it on, even if it was hot outside. You would go in there and there'd be a pot of water. On that stove, and it'd just be simmering a little bit because she kept a fire. 
She kept a fire. She's probably like mama and was cold all the time and thought, that fire's good. Love the Waltons. We do too. Good evening from New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Oh, the great memories. I know, Deb. I just love it. Yeah. Did you watch the Waltons? Yes. Still do, Nancy, if I can catch them. Sometimes I'll hear the music on Mama's TV and I'll go over and sit with her and watch them. No, John, it's called... It, it's called Guarding Tess. Guarding Tess. I, I thought it was Guarding Tess. But someone said it was Regarding. I don't know if our electricity's going off or what keeps it blinking a lot. It is Guarding Tess. Yes, okay, thank you, Brenda and Miss Nola both. I thought it was a, the whole premise of the show was about these poor men <laughs> that had to guard her. And she would try her best to make it hard on them. But by doing so, it made good movie for us to watch. I like that comes up one more time. I keep getting this a pop up on here. Young Shelton is a funny show. Barb, I've watched it and I love the grandma who used to be on a show with a bunch of women from Georgia. Uh, designing women. That's the one. She's the <laughs> Gosh, little I've got good Annie, is it Annie Potts? character. Mm -hmm. She's a funny little grandma. So I'm almost like, I just think she's funny. Everybody loves Ronnie. Oh, boy, what's that? I still that? watch him all the time. He's funny. That's one of Mama's favorites, too. Mama used to like this one, and I used to kind of make fun of her for it, but it was a good show. Can't remember what this title was, but I remember it was a little girl, and she would go upstairs at some point in every show, and she'd sit in her bedroom window, uh. And she'd talk to the man in the moon. Her name was... Uh, and she would say... Her middle name was Jean. Dorothy Jean. Dorothy Jean. Because okay. I used to call Mama Dorothy Jean. <laughs> Dorothy Jean was a little Dorothy girl. Dorothy Jean. Dorothy Jean. Something. Dorothy Anyhow, Jean. she would go out and she was real, real country. And she would say, Good man. evening, man in the moon. <laughs> yeah. It was a good show. Mama loves... To, nothing pleases Mama more than to go out at night and stare up in the sky for for 30 or 40 minutes and I looking for a comet or a, a ring around something or some planets lined up. I don't know how many times we've set clocks and got I up. I got you up all the way you were out. And to go out with a blanket around us and stare up into the sky. <laughs> and I would always say to her, Georgia Jean, we're going to go out and look up at the sky. The man in the moon. And I said, well, if nothing else, we can find the moon. We may not be able to find all the planets lined up. We may not be able to see a comet going through there. <laughs> but at least you can talk to the man in the moon, Dorothy Jean. Dorothy Jane. I think it was Dorothy, Dorothy Jane. Jane. Dorothy Jane. And her mama was real country, too. I don't know who she was. I can't think of the show. I remember the girl's name, Dorothy Jane. Dorothy Jane. I don't remember the show. It was hilarious. Was it Evening Shade? No, that's another movie. Uh, I might have to go turn my car off. All right. Well, we're going to say goodnight. Mama's battery was down. Mama drives a Highlander. And for some reason, if she don't drive it every day, something in it brings the battery down. Now, we it know. started doing that for a The hatchback was open before it done it, but it isn't that. I've read up on it. It's a think. It's an issue. Because um, a lot of people with the same model of car she has, her, their battery goes down. If y'all know anything about it, you know the secret posted please, on here. Please tell us. <laughs> um, so she's let it run for about an hour here. Yeah. To let it make sure it's charged. And I'll go turn it off as soon as we get through here. Yeah. And we hope that we can figure out what it is. Somebody suggests you turn everything in it off. I tried to. But like I the air condition, the, the radio, everything. And the auto lights. You know, I don't turn the auto lights off. So we're going to try that and see if that'll help. If not, they say they take them to the dealers and I don't find nothing wrong with them. So it's just some little glitch, some little something, motor or something that it's running enough that it runs it down in two or three days. So we're going to try to find out what's going on. Y'all have a blessed night. Mom, yeah. say good night.
Good night, Mom. I'm God bless you. Now. Have a wonderful night and day tomorrow. Thanks for reminiscing with us. Yes, loved it tonight. Talk yeah. to you. Bye, y'all.